Hi there, this is Karina Cohen. Um, I've been asked by friends to do a little skincare video, uh, particularly paying attention to the decollete area and the neck and the chin and this sort of area of the face. Um, still in lockdown because uh, I'm a beauty therapist, so I get up quite close and personal to people. So as a lot of people are wearing these, this new life, this new mask, it's actually affecting here a lot. Um, doctors and nurses would be very aware of that. Um, so it is important when you come home um, to take it off uh, just to, and try and give yourself breathing space wherever you can. Wherever it's safe to, I believe when you're out in fresh air, uh, in a park or by the sea, uh, I don't believe you need to wear a mask. But I'm not a doctor, so I want to be very careful what I say on these YouTube videos. But just when you get home, uh, you need your skin to breathe. You need to have space around your face and around your neck. So I'm just going to start with a very simple routine of cleansing because you can either use a cream cleanser or a clay cleanser. There's so many different ones on the market. But if you want to do something quite fast, I recommend um, micellar water. Uh, this is what I found in my local shop uh, because I'm very into plastic free and vegan skincare. No, sorry, I'm not a vegan. I'm trying to be more vegetarian. Um, been naughty on lockdown that's why I'm getting a few things around my chin myself so what I do with this is I just pour a little bit into um, it's like a cotton disc that you can see there this is again uh, you don't have to use this kind of cotton disc you can use your any any form of um, cotton discs out there ideally organic if you can. So just starting on the forehead, wiping across, going around the eyes, circle of eight around the eyes if you like. It's quite good. Going over the entire face, concentrating in in the nose area, stretching out the face. This is what the face needs as well. There is a, an exercise program, Ava Fraser uh, does sort of facial exercises. But again, so you can see all the little tilting I'm doing, all the little movement I'm doing, and I'm putting a fair amount of pressure with the two middle fingers, moving this around. Again, always upward on the neck. We're not doing the massage yet, but it's still part of the whole treatment. And it's important as well to get back behind the ears and the back of the neck, which can be very neglected. Okay, and then again, it's always a choice for toners. As a beauty therapist, I'm very into them. So I chose this one, Hydrating Toner, because it's also a refill. Uh, and this has rose and lavender. But again, toners are a very personal choice and a lot of people just prefer a spritz. They find it a bit easier than having to try and pour some out evenly onto a cotton disc. So again, you can either start from the neck up or the forehead down. It's up to you. Back and forth into the hairline as well. And again, circles of eight around the eyes so that it kind of really goes through as well the, um, the eyebrows. But not too close in here. You can get separate like jojoba oil if you're really concerned or if they're really dry and use an organic um, cotton bud. So again, you'll feel the difference with the toner, like it'll be a lot cooler. like almost like wet on the skin. This is very good as well if you've got no access to immediate water or you just want to do something very quickly. Again, always upward and using the fingers holding. It 
Now if you do find that the skin feels a little bit wet, you can use tissue to pat the face if you like. Again, I'm a little bit different as a beauty therapist. I like to leave the toner in for a couple of moments. Now, some of my favorite oils is Yehoba oil, um, which you should get in most health shops. You might even get it in supermarkets now, I don't know. So I use that as kind of a base. Mix it into my hands, the palms of my hands, all there you can see all the oil. And I'm pressing. Press into this area. This is where we're really going to be focusing on today. So cupping your hands around, pressing in. And also it helps the tension of the shoulders as well. Just even pressing down the side of your neck, you're going to feel very, very tight muscles there. This is what I love to work on as a beauty therapist. I love releasing all that tension for you. So at least this is you trying to release the tension for yourself. Okay, and then just gently on the rest of the face. So now you're going to, if, you, if your hands feel a bit greasy, um, you can use either a tissue or a towel and just wipe your hands. Always remember if you can to put the tops back on things because if they fall over, then oil is everywhere. Now this is the facial oil I use, but again, whatever facial oil that you like is fine. You know, it's just as long as it's right for your skin type. This is a nourishing facial oil with argan and rosehip, and this is flawless vegan skincare. So again, this is very good in the way that oils are really best if they're on a dropper, because it controls the amount that you use. So just squeezing the top of it, lifting up, and pouring, it's a little bit of a balancing trick but holding it quite firm at the base so you've got a good grip on it and then this other hand is free. So your left hand is holding, whichever your right or left handed, but we, what you, you're holding it securely and then lifting the puppet and um, building some oil into the pipette and then putting into your hand then closing down again and placing that down. So now the oil is in your hands, mixing again. Now this time we're going to start from the forehead. So again, like a prayer. Gently moulding into the face. Underneath here, and a prayer. Not too much needed around the nose. That's quite important for people. People tend to load oil on the T-zone, which they don't often need to. So starting with, again, these two fingers in the center do an awful lot of the work. It can be all fingers, but it's just, there's a little bit more control when you have these two fingers working. So I like to start rolling, and you're using quite a bit of firm pressure. Rolling across up above a top you know across the forehead up to the hairline from the edge of the brows now you can use the hands so it's almost like holding your head in your hands putting a little bit of pressure there and breathing Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Gently releasing out, pressing into the temples. You're going to feel a bone under the eyes, just using pressure of the, the two fingers in the center, going in to the center. And again, gently pressing out. One, two, 
three, four. And from the center of the nose, this really helps with sinus. One, two, three, four. And this is where you'll really feel the bone, the zygomatics. One, two, three, four. And again, the sides of the mouth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The base of the chin, pressing in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you will really feel this in the muscles. One, two, three, four, five. And it releases an awful lot of tension in that area. This is often where we need to really open the jaw. If you move it to the, to the right, my right, and to the left. It'll almost, almost feel a little bit sore. So a very good idea is very, very, very gently, little circles. This is where you can use all your fingers and the hands are slightly cupped, the neck is relaxed, the feet are on the ground, and you're breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. and stopping at the base. You'll see there, just under the earlobe, either side. Now, cupping the neck, not too tight, just very gently, and gent at the back if you can, just press in at the back. It's almost like either sign, uh, either side of the spine just gently pressing in, just gently press in one hand, press in the other hand, press in one hand, press in the other hand, but do not press too deeply. This is just very gentle and then moving the head left and right. What you're doing here is you're really trying to open up the neck and back and forth. Again, just holding firmly, like as if you're really giving the neck the support it needs. Back and forward. Holding the head back. Holding the head steady, straight up and forward. Now, at the, the base of the the neck here is the clavicle. You'll feel a kind of a bone going across here and you can see where I'm marking. I recently got sunburn, so that's why it's all a bit red there. So, but it gives you a good indication of where to work. So again, it's usually using the first three fingers. You're pressing here. It's just almost at that center of the throat, the voice box here, you're pressing one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you can do this three times. It really releases 
an awful lot of tension. It's like when you want to shout or scream at somebody and you can't. This is helping to release it on another level. Meanwhile, just really making sure your lower back and your hips are very relaxed. And making sure you keep your breathing going, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You might even hear little cracks, and if you do, that's okay. One, two, three. So now we're going to start doing neck movements. So again, it's like you're spacing the hands like this. Starting from the base, again, you can turn the head and you're going to be moving the hands. There's no right or wrong way of this, but as long as you're not going too deep, you're keeping it gentle and you're always moving upward. And if it's difficult with the two hands, just use one and let the other rest. Lifting up the entire neck all the way up to the side of the jawline. And then the other side. Again, no particular numbers of this. Sometimes people find it a bit easier when you turn the hand this way and scoops more. So again, now you're bringing the edge of the hands in to the side of the clavicle. The sides of the thumbs are moving upward, lifting up the entire neck, but again, not putting too much pressure, being really, really gentle. Imagine that you're almost massaging a baby's neck. Breathing holding the chin, release, breathing, release, breathing, release, relaxing the shoulders, gently holding your chin, moving the edge of the hands out over the chin, back in again. Let the edges of the arms touch, holding the chin, letting the base of the palms move either side of the chin outward, all the way up towards the edge. Again, the hands moving in, the base of the hands, cupping the chin, releasing out. Finishing at the base of the ears. Again, bringing the, the sides, the inner arms inward, holding the chin, lifting, letting the base of your hands do the work, breathe, Relax your shoulders. That's it. Keeping the hands flat, maybe slightly cupped in this way if you like, but the top of the fingers are flat. Holding in the sides onto the nose, little fingers are loose using these three fingers, gently pressing and lifting out. Across the cheeks, thumbs are free and up to the sides of the eyes, the temples. Doing little circles of eight, whichever direction you want. And again, moving into the prayer. Opening the prayer on the forehead. Opening the prayer over the center of the forehead, moving down either side of the nose. 
opening the prayer over the center of the face and opening the prayer and the thumbs coming down and the fingers coming across the face lifting the face holding one two three and relaxing down finishing in prayer pose so thank you for watching that was just a little bit of um some facial massage movements and i may be back with some more let's see what happens so have a lovely week look after yourself try and rest and uh, drink lots of water and lots of fruit and vegetables yeah and just think positive and think for a brighter future love to you and your journey